But Late Your Birth to Soul is an amazing time, bro. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm having the most fun. However, out of a few issues, a few problems with the game, we gotta try to fix this and get it right as soon as possible so we can keep playing Bleach Rebirth the Soul. This video is not only for PC, but also for PS5 and even Xbox even. Before we go any further, the community manager Ryan has already stated all these issues and bug fixes back to the developers so we can get a better game again. To be honest with you, this is one of my favorite anime games of all time so far. I'm, I'm having fun still. But there are problems that plague it that can kind of hinder the enjoyment and stuff like that. Last night, a lot of the games were met with crashing. If you tabbed out on PC, the game will break. And so just a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo, bruh. So that being said, this is the best setting for Bleach or Birth of Souls for everybody. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more Bleach and fighting game and RPG content, and let's get it. I honestly think this is the first anime game I've seen outside of Ultra Rumble from Bandai that has anti-cheat in it. Okay, so number one. How to fix the sound bug on Bleach Rebirth of Souls. Unfortunately, there's this sound sometimes where you just completely lose the game audio altogether. It's horrendous. It's really bad. So the only logical way to fix that bug right now is essentially just restarting the damn game. You have to just restart the game completely. Please make sure you go ahead and restart your PC. I know it's annoying, but the no sound bug on PC is an issue. If you're a streamer like me, I'm streaming on a dual monitor setup, this is problematic. <laughs> when you tab out the game, 9 to the 10, the game has a high probability of crashing. Bandai, please fix this, but I have some ways to make it easier for you not to feel locked into the game at all. What you do is you go to option, right? Resolution. Um, a lot of people on Twitter are saying put everything on low. To be honest, I put everything on low and it does still look really well done. Um, so if that's not an issue for you, for me, it looks really solid even on low. It just doesn't have the strong textures or anything like that. But um, if that works out for you, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, here's the thing about the game. Your frame rate, I feel like I've been playing this on PC and I played about 10 games even through all of the issues day one. You can tell the difference between somebody playing on a good PC with good connection versus somebody who has struggling other parameters to their gameplay. You can see it. Personally, I recommend everybody to just make sure your frame rate is just capped at 60. If your computer is crazy as fuck, like I'm talking about like 20, 23 parts or later, my guy, put this shit on unlimited. But more than likely every fighting game should have at least a 60 fps frame rate because there are some matches i play where the match feel like it's in like 45 fps or even lower also if you're a person that don't like motion blur and it's a lot of chaotic shit that goes on in this game especially with a lot of attack streams a lot of screen shake too motion blur please turn that off now now for this one we're going to teach you how to make the game run as administrator i've been hearing some mixed things on this but a lot of people saying this worked and some is not so i'm giving y'all all the options i can here the way that you do this is you go to steam you go to library and then you scroll down to bleach revert to souls and then when you get to bleach revert to souls you're going to right click on bleach revert to souls and then hit manage and browse local file. This will open the game's installation folder and the path is program files, x86, steam apps, comment, and Bleach Rebirth of Souls folder. What you're gonna do now is click on the Bleach Rebirth of Souls exe, right click, go to properties, then go to, there should be a tab that says, go to compatibility tab and tick mark and run this program as administrator. Then click apply and okay. If that doesn't work, if you're on Windows 10 or higher, um, just hit run as administrator. Just right click and do it. Okay, I know this sounds stupid, but did you upgrade your drivers? Make sure you check your drivers first to see if you upgrade them. It's a new game. Every time I play a new game on PC, I do check to see if there's a new driver update for the game. And if y'all didn't know, there is a GeForce Game Ready driver that came out March 18th, uh, two to three days ago, before Bleach Rebirth of Souls dropped. So let me go ahead and update that. The next morning. Bro, it keep crashing, dog. Why does it keep crashing? 
All right, this part of the video is about the controls. I'm gonna get y'all right on some things I recommend. So number one, it says use left and right as separate controls. I don't know what that means. Hopefully that does mean we can use the D-pad. D-pad is very important, especially if you come from Tekken or every other game like nowadays. People play fighting games on levelless. So like, think about it. Y'all gotta start making games so what people can use the analog stick. That is one of my biggest complaint about arena fighters. And it's not the end all be all, but I do hate the PS5 controller. So please Bandai, Tamsoft, please add D-pad support for Bleach Rebirth of Souls. It ain't gonna do nothing. I mean, just re find another way to remap training mode. Just let us do the options from the menu. I'd rather lose that in game than just do it from the menu. So number one, Awakening is on L3 plus R3. I do not like clicking in Elder and R3 to awaken in any game. It does feel unnatural. The only game I'm dealt with it in is Call of Duty in my knowledge. Most of the times I do not like hitting Elder and R3 in a fighting game, clicking it in when there's not their own separate buttons. I personally would rather have it on um, two face buttons. It's easy to reach to, easy to pop off when you need it. Think of it as a deep, like again, if this game had a leverless layout, it would be perfectly fine because you don't need a certain amount of buttons. You just need the face buttons and L2 and some other button. Now, unfortunately for PC players, I'm gonna teach y'all how to set up the leverless for this game. Shout out to the homie Trap Lord Yui for putting everybody on for PC. So what you have to do is click on Bleach Rebirth the Souls on Steam. So first things first, you have to right click on your Steam library where your Bleach Rebirth the Souls is installed, then go to properties. This window should open up very shortly. Next, you click on the controller tab, then you should see this underlying text that says controller configurator. Now it says click edit layout, then go to D-pad settings and change it to analog stick L. I got this stupid sound bug again, oh my god. And now, you can use your leverless on the game. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I am using my Doyo leverless. It works perfectly fine. Also, I have to update you guys. A lot of the issues I'm seeing are like on Intel. There's a couple people on Twitter that's saying if you're on the AMD uh, build, then you'll be good playing this game. However, there's still people still going through crashes forever. We are getting a patch update sometime today and throughout the next upcoming days. So again, they really want to make this game really good because that these patches like sparking, we had to wait a minute to get some of these patches, bro. But um, once again, um, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe and let me know how y'all feel, what you would like to see next from your boy. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>